July. We're watching the tropics here. I'm still not really worked up about anything, but I'm going to keep you updated on what we're tracking. Invest 94, let's start with that. That's going to be moving towards the Yucatan, Belize, and uh, into the southern Gulf here by this weekend. That'll bring heavy rain to those areas the next few days. It does have a chance to organize some as it spins close to the coast of Mexico and then moves inland. Very similar path to what Alberto took a couple of weeks ago. Chances of development, they are there, but they're on the low side. This is a completely different ball game. Invest 95 is truly looking like it's probably going to be our first hurricane of the season, and this is going to be moving into a fairly favorable environment. Very, very unusual for late June to be tracking a system developing this far out in the Atlantic. It's moving west. It will be moving into a low wind shear environment and uh, the dry air. It's near it, but it's north of it, so it may not have to fight much of that off as it nears the lesser Antilles Islands. So if you have interest or travel plans down into the islands later this weekend and early next week, you certainly need to watch the forecast. There is a chance that this is a hurricane there by later Sunday into Monday and then moving into the Caribbean. We do expect this to continue to move through the Caribbean next week, but we've still got many, many days to watch to see what it does. So in the near term, it's going to be strengthening more than likely. Once it's in the Caribbean, it may pass just south of our islands, the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. And then here's where the greater uncertainty exists. We don't know exactly how strong the storm will be at this point, and that's going to be a factor on where exactly it goes. One thing we're going to be watching very closely too is the strength of our heat ridge over us. If that ridge stays strong enough, it could send this mainly to the west. If that ridge weakens at all, then that storm can try to get a little bit of northerly movement to it. So that's the main thing we're going to be watching with this feature into next week. We still have a solid six days to see how this evolves. Uh, but by this time next week, we'll certainly have a good idea on whether it's going west or whether it's coming maybe more into the Gulf. Still a lot of unknowns with that part of the forecast. One thing's for sure, our next seven days, there's no tropical impacts in our seven day. It's just hot and humid. It will uh, be raining at times. There'll be those pop up storms in the afternoon. So for those weekend plans, watching for some rain, same thing as we head into next week and for the 4th of July next Thursday. Hit or miss storms are looking possible with hot weather in the 90s. Our marine forecast, other than watching for storms, our winds are southwest today, south tomorrow, and west on Sunday. Light to uh, really just a light chop on our waters. High tide is at 9 a.m. in Grand Isle, 2 p.m. for the lakes, and your low tide, that'll happen later on into the overnight hours and early morning hours.